Sir, please. Chicken chow. Chicken chow. Nice to meet you, man. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Flavor explosion. America. How are we go? Oh, great. Look at the flames coming out the rotisserie. All right, thank you guys. Pow. Taka at night. Well, what up, everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. It is late night here in Dhaka. We're in the Don Mundi neighborhood, the Don Mundi district. I'm not sure what they call it, but we got one thing in mind tonight. Actually, we got two things. We gotta go get ourselves some late night eats, I'm craving some dinner, and after that, we gotta find ourselves some desserts. I'm craving my first little taste and treat of something sweet right here in Bangladesh. We're just gonna let the camera rip. I don't even think I'm gonna edit this video. We're just gonna roll right out here. I think, ah, oh, assalamu alaikum, hello, brother. I don't know what street I'm on right now, but I've been staying here uh, since this morning, and this has got to be like the busiest crazy street in all of Dhaka. I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna say something different after I get down deeper into old Dhaka. Uh, but as far as like noise and chaos and excitement and energy is concerned, the street is just non-stop. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my friend? Yeah. Straight off the rip, like right out of the hotel, we got like a ton of guys selling all sorts of street food here. I'm seeing some like pani puri. Looks like they got some little like pakora, some like fried dishes there, fried snacks. We gotta be careful at night. Cause uh, even during the day, it's like treacherous walking around Dhaka, but at night, it's, all, it's a whole new level of uh, apparel, let me tell you that. Straight up obstacle courses out here, y'all. Definitely, definitely don't want to get a little road rash on the legs or anything. We're just gonna wander straight hey, down bro. this road and uh, see what we find. If we find somewhere cool to go or cool to turn, that's where we're going. But I'm hungry, and I'm very thankful you are with me tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, brother. Ooh, boy, that looks that looks really good. It act, it looked it looked really good a while ago actually. It was very colorful and looked it looked delicious. But I think that food stall might have been uh, at the end of the night. Probably probably shutting down. It's maybe like, oh, I don't know, 10 p.m. out here in Dhaka right now. So, you know, there's tons, tons of people in the streets, as you can see. Uh, but I'm curious, like, what time things start to shut down. I'm hopeful that we're going to find ourselves uh, some, some food. And, and now, now I could cheat. I could go literally right here and, and go get myself a cake or a dessert. But I want to wander around, y'all. I want to show you what these streets are really like at night. And more than anything, I'm hoping that we meet some cool people as well. And maybe they can guide us and, and give us some suggestions. Let's uh, just turn. Oh, wow. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my friend? I'm good, good. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Where are you from? Uh, from America. America. Oh, I like yeah, it. yeah. Abnar Nam Ki. Amar Nam Mohammed Aulabas. Amar Nam Brent. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, nice and to meet these you. are your friends? This, yeah, is, my, this, this is your wife? No, this is girlfriend. Your, your daughter? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Oh, yeah. very nice to meet you. Abnar Nam Ki. I, I live in Qatar. You live in Qatar? I, I live in Qatar. Oh, yeah, seven years finished. Qatar? Then I, yeah, Qatar. Like the country? Qatar? Like Qatar, Qatar. Like you know, World Cup 22. Yeah! I, oh, I, from I, Qatar. I, I, okay. okay. What's the coolest thing about Qatar? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go there in a couple months. Yeah, yeah no problem. You coming all the Qatar is over 90. What's, what's, what's the best Qatari food? Yeah, Qatari food like uh, pizza, like uh, or chicken burger. Chicken, pizza? Yeah, chicken, pizza, okay. Chicken brani, everything. I'm, 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 go I'm going down this way and I'm trying to find some food for tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No what, is there like a good restaurant this yeah, way, man? Yeah, yeah, like that. There is that and let's say uh, fast uh, so then I had a good student and yeah. then you're putting it. Down there yeah. to the left side? Yeah. Down to the left yeah, is down. Down yeah. Alright man, thank uh, you for the recommendation. Uh, yeah, Allah Fizz. Boom, straight off the rip. I'm, I'm really curious, what is this guy selling here? Salam, salam. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, he's got like a little some candy. He's got some like lighters. And then what is that pan? Pan, oh, they're selling pan straight on the street right here. I'm not the biggest fan of pan. I want to try the fire pan that they have here. Tonight is not the night for that, y'all. So as you can see, we got like not the most even streets here in Dhaka, you know. Things are things are improving here from an infrastructure standpoint. Are you Luke Devin? Uh, am I Luke? Am I who? Are you Luke Devin? <laughs> no, I'm I'm Brent Tim. Oh, yeah. I see. What, what's your name? Uh, my Abner name is Sharif. Sharif. Yeah. Uh, Brent. I'm Brent. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet Where you. Where do I come from? Yeah. America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, brother. Nice to meet you. That's not the first time traveling someone thought that I was uh, Luke Dumont. I, I don't think he and I could look any more different from, from size, from face, uh, from, from hair color. Maybe they think that uh, all bloggers here look alike or something. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? 
Ah, cool, cool jersey, man. India, India. very nice. Where are you from? I'm from America. Where are you from, brother? I'm local. Local. I'm not name Key. Freeport. I'm not name Brent. Nice. I'm not name Brent. Brent. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. I, I've heard there's really good food. Down, do down, down this way. Why do you stay? I'm staying down there at the Hotel Nandini, but I've heard there's good food. I'm very hungry. I've heard if I go this way, I'll find like good food. You can go and uh, left side. Go on left side. Okay. Nice meeting you, brother. Allah Fizz. Allah Fizz. All right. He's the second dude who told me that we got to go to the left side up here. Okay. So many. Well, how are there so many sirens in Bangladesh? It, it, I, I can't tell if they're like police sirens or if they're like uh, uh, ambulance silent. Okay, well that's an ambulance. And part of me kind of wonders because traffic is so bad, maybe they're just like using their sirens to get through. Maybe there is no emergency or anything like that. Have you YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, of course, man. First name. Brent Kim. Yeah. And because this is a food challenge, we're, we're not cheating. I didn't look at Google Maps. We're definitely not using Google Maps in a place like Dhaka. I want to explore. I want to follow my nose and just kind of see where the people are eating out here. You dig? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wow, okay, we got all the rickshaws lined up here. This must be the street they, they told me to turn down because it looks really like lit up and it looks very, very colorful. Big, big metro. Obviously, all of Dhaka is like insanely big and like very, very well like lit up and, and alive. But this kind of looks like we might have some, I don't know, shopping centers on the left and right side. Those guys asked me if I wanted street food, but I, you know, I'm, I'm tr as you know, I've spent a, a long time in the hospital in, in Dubai after I ate something not so good in Pakistan. So I'm a little weary of street food and uh, protecting my health and future is very important. So I'll eat street food during the day. When I, when I can like see everything that's going on, um, but at night and like who knows like how long the food um, has been left out or something. And that's just not just Bangladesh, y'all. That goes for anywhere in the world. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, brother. What we got here a little little travel agency. Hello. Whoa. Didn't didn't get too many smiles back there, but that that's okay. I'm sure there's not too many guys like me walking around with a light on their camera at night. You know, come to think of it, I don't think. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, brother. How are you? Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm not sure why you're. I appreciate you uh, wanting to hold my arm right there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I'm, 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 uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let go. But, but thank you. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Hello, sir. Please. Oh, you love me. I love you too, man. But we're just going to have to keep moving on there. I always appreciate the love and affection, but. The, the, the man was kind of putting a grip on me like he uh, he didn't want me to leave. He didn't want me to leave. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you? I'm fine. You're good. good. Abnar Nam Ki? I'm just shy of Oh, that's a cool name. Abnar Nam Brent. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yes, yes, take care. So, all throughout Dhaka, you can. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you, my friend. I, mu I must go. But thank you. Thank you, brother. All throughout the streets of Bangladesh, you're going to see so many street side stalls selling clothes. I've talked a lot in the other videos about how Bangladesh is the third largest exporter of textiles in the world. So you can't walk down a single street in, in Dhaka without being able to buy like some clothes or pants. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if that guy is still following me. I, I've never had that in any, any country. I mean, first he put one hand and then he wrapped his other hand around my forearm. Like he, he, did, he did not want to want to let go. And there was definitely some sort of communication barrier there too. So I, I, I don't think he spoke English very well. But let's take a peek back. Okay, he's, he's moving very slow. This, this is like a low speed chase. We're just going to kick on the turbo boosters. And listen, don't worry, I feel 100% safe in, in, in Bangladesh. You know, I wasn't quite sure what he wants, but nothing, nothing nefarious. Probably has never seen someone like me wandering around here. And it's, 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 it's all, part of the, all part of the game, being out here. Especially, I have this giant light on my camera, and, and people tend to flock to it uh, like fireflies at night seeing the lights. So it's, it's cool. Just another experience, y'all. Rolling. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Oh, no, no, no. No, right. Oh, assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Oh, what do we got here? We got some food. We got some kebab. Some tikka. Oh, kebab. Oh, oh some fresh chicken. Oh, really, really nice. Oh, and he's got the roti. Naan, some naan. 
Parata. Oh, Parata. It looked a little different. It didn't look as oily as some other Paratas I've seen around the world. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. I love this. I love this. Oh, there's, there's the naan. Naan, right? Naan. Sometimes I can't between. Ah, assalamu alaikum, brother. Sometimes between the naan and the roti and chapati, it gets a little confusing. Roti is generally a, a, a lot thinner. Nice guys, nice guys working at their restaurant. The chicken did look kind of good, but I, don't, I, I can't end the video right now. We, we want to tiptoe a little bit and see what else is going on in this neighborhood. Ah, oh, no, thank you, brother. Nah, salam. The rickshaw driver just rolling, rolling next to me like, please come, please come. We're, we're proceeding on foot. Okay, Mina Sweets. That could be an after dinner spot right there. Mentally, mentally noted. I want, I, want, I want to poke down a little little further on this street though before I before I make a decision, maybe scout out what really looks good. That that meat back there, that chicken looked really good, but chicken is what got me sick um, back in Pakistan. So uh, it's a little 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 nervous on that. Although I mean it did look cooked to perfection, but maybe, maybe we'll go back there. Ah, uh, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Where are you, Where are you from? America. America, whoa, great. Yeah, whoa. Which, oh, which, province, man? Yeah. which province? Uh, well, I'm from the state of Minnesota. Oh, great. A very cold state. Okay. I want to study in America. Yeah? Yeah. Well, ho I hopefully you can come, man. It's great, great education in America, brother. Yes, yes. What, what's the best, what's your favorite Bangladeshi food, man? Oh, Bangladeshi food. Here, uh, very uh, famous food is here, uh, chicken chop. Chicken chop? Chicken chop. Ooh. Chicken chop is they, the, they call uh, it very chicken famous. Chop. Chicken chop is very famous in here. And also, and also biryani is here. Oh. Oh, I love biryani. Oh. And pilau, do you like uh, pilau? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. pilau is favorite. How about a uh, fuksha? Fuska, yeah, fuska. It's called fuska. <coughs> oh. yeah. Here is uh, cooking, here is kitchen. Uh, I just inhaled problem, the environmental problem. Yeah. <laughs> environmental problem. Yeah. I just inhaled the chicken shop. Okay. okay, nice meeting you, my friend. Yeah. I, I love oh. this. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I collapsed my lung. <laughs> I, I think we call that huffing. Oh my gosh, I, 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 take a, I took a giant hit of that chopped chicken. Whoa, that was, yeah, environmental issue. No, no joke, y'all. We got more clothes out here. We got some gas. This looks like an old Abercrombie and Fitch style shirt. Assalamu alaikum, salam. Whoa, pure, pure chaos out here as, as always, y'all. Although it does seem a little quieter on the street than it did during the day. I'd assume on a Sunday night, most people are off work or with their families. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, and we got some some nice some cha, right? Cha. Uh, late late night cha in, in in Desi culture, it's 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 a it, cha is it's we call it cha in a lot of other parts of the world. Here they call it cha in Bangladesh. And I'm just, oh hello, I'm doing very well. Uh, it's almost like a religion here. People drink it at all times of the day. I got a lot, I got an early morning, and a lot of work to do. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, brother. How are you? Salam, salam. And if I have a cup of cha, y'all, I'm, I'm not going to bed till like four or five in the morning. We, we can't do that. A lot of big, exciting days lined up here in Bangladesh, and gotta be, gotta be fresh, right? Salam alaikum, brother. What do we got here? Oh, Domino's pizza. Have not seen a Domino's here yet. Probably not. Probably not gonna indulge in Domino's on this trip. Salam alaikum, brother. I do love me a good pizza, but. Domino's, not Dom, Daka Domino's, Daka knows, not on, not on the program for tonight. More, more cha over here. Assalamu alaikum. A lot of big, big smiles out here from the people. Hello. We got, oh, KFC. Okay, we're, we're in like Chain Alley. I certainly wouldn't call this area a tourist area because we are, we are far away from Golshan where most of the tourists stay. I don't know who the heck is staying in this area if, if you're a foreigner, but I might be the first. There's certainly no shortage of, of restaurants and places to eat on this street. We got the Una Cafe, the level two. Looks like we got a bank, uh, maybe like some sort of shopping center. Okay, KFC is not happening this trip either. I'm gonna do a video at BFC. I heard that's like the best fried chicken in Bangladesh. If you see me looking down, it's, it's, I'm, I'm trying to keep eye contact with the camera. But I'm also trying to not break an ankle or uh, tear my Achilles falling in one of these potholes or something, you dig? Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Uh, fuksha? Fuksha, very, very nice. I had a little bit of fuksha uh, in an earlier video today and it, it was good. It was G-double-O-D good, y'all. But again, later at night, probably gonna avoid the street foods. That, that big barrel looked like it was getting pretty low. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? I'm fine. Ah, thank you, brother. Abnar, Abnar. Namki, 
Suhel, MD Suhel. MD Suhel. Amar Nam Brent. Nice to meet you, brother. I like the oh, thank you. I like the color of your shirt. Cool color, man. Assalamu alaikum, brother. A lot of lot of people selling the pan on the street. I, I I can't believe it. Everyone like tons of people selling like cigarettes, lighters, and the, and then pan. This video is being filmed. I don't know. It's like June 10th or something today, and uh, Bangladesh is in the middle of like a crazy historic deadly heat wave and so i feel like most people probably don't even come out uh, until late at night when it's finally cool and i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's cool because i still i still feel the sweat starting to trickle hey assalamu alaikum how are you guys hi nice to meet you what's your name my name is rudro rudro that's a cool name gg that's great yeah Allah fizz thank you brother welcome to back i'm from america America. Yeah, yeah. The video will be up in like a week. You guys will be in the video. Okay, subscribe, Katya. Oh, thank you for the subscription, brother. Allah Fizz. One step at a time, one subscriber at a time. The race to, to, to one billion subs, it begins now. Hi, right, Assalamu Alaikum, brother. How are you? Oh, we got the, the guy was uh, security or something. I've been, I've been having a hard time differentiating between uh, the military uniforms, the police uniforms. What do we got here? We got a sausly, sausly, a salam. Looks like they got some like sweet treats in here. Ooh, this one looks looks pretty good too. That looks pretty pretty authentic. But we're gonna walk for just a little longer. I want to see what else they got. Maybe we'll walk up to a point where there's like a fork in the road, and then I'll then I'll turn around. Well, what are we working with here? Oh, more rotisserie chicken. Now these things, they're they're looking as crispy and and as done as delicious as you can get. Look at the flames coming out the rotisserie. The smell is intoxicating. I'm not like those harmful, toxic chicken chicken chop fumes that I just breathed in a while ago. <laughs> my, my, my throat still feels raw from that, guys. We got like an alley down here with a bunch of little street store vendors over here selling the Whoa! Hello. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you, man. Gucci, Abu Narnam Ki. Razib Shakar Raz. I'm Arnon Brent. Nice to meet you, Raz. Are you wearing your sunglasses at night, man? You're a cool guy. Awesome <laughs> person. I think I will see you. Uh, I, you I will see, see you. You. You, you have a YouTube I, channel, right? I do have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. And you're on the YouTube this channel. Is right right now, Raz. This is awesome, man. What? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from America. America. Whoa. Oh, this is my favorite country. One of my favorite country. Where are you from? I'm oh, from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Oh, but yes. America is one of your favorite countries. Okay, when, man. when you come here, when you come here, who's dead? I came here four days ago, and I'll be here 30 days. Okay. Yeah. Nice hey. to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you too. Raj, thank you guys. Cool See you guys. Again in Shara. See you, brother. That was that was a real cool cat, y'all. Except he literally almost ran over me and a small child because he was so focused at me and my camera because of the bright light that uh, it, it could have been a bad, bad situation. Hey, assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you, man? I'm fine. Good, good. <laughs> I just, whoo. You know, I never feel, oh, I want who and they want who. You know, I'm sure that if you're watching this and you're from America, you're from a place where you've never kind of been around somewhere that, that's so noisy and chaotic, you might think it looks stressful. To, to me, I feel like really, really comfortable here. Like I feel at ease. I feel safe. Assalamu alaikum. Is that a chicken chop? Chick chop. Chicken chop. That looks really nice too, y'all. But it doesn't seem to be the highest, highest of heat going on. Ooh, we got some fresh, fresh chilies getting chopped up. Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. How are you doing? Oh. Seeing a lot of these restaurants serve up this uh, rotisserie chicken. Good. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? What's the name of your restaurant here? It's a uh, shopping restaurant. Shopping restaurants. Oh, okay. Wow, and you just pulled out a bunch of liquid, a bunch of like Matella, sauce. Matella, Matella. Matella. Oh, I've, I've never heard of that. Like the super thick, like rich, like beef gravy. It looked like they was gonna get a pour over the meat there. Oh, that, that looked pretty tasty, y'all. Assalamu alaikum. We got a late night fruit stall fix. I got some sort of hotel over here. Uh, the salon? Anybody in the? Oh, they're still cutting hair. 10 o'clock at night. They don't stop the chop. First, you come to Bangladesh, you get the chicken chop. Then you go to the haircut, you get your hair chop chop. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, all right. How are you, brother? We got a little buffet action, huh? A couple different. Uh, is that vegetable baji? Baji? No. No. What's that? What's that called? Fish. 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 That's the yeah, fish. Yeah. It's a small fish. Ve vegetable baji, right? Yeah. That's baji. 
No. Small fish. Like small fish. Bengalini, small fish. Okay. Bengalini, small fish. Okay. All right. Oh, and you got all, all the different dishes sitting out on, on top there. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you for selling. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Food looks really nice. Oh, and we got a little ice cream uh, stall outside. Hey, assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you? I'm good, fine, good. thank you. What do you got there? Some, uh, some. what is Vegetable. that? Vegetables. Vegetables. Like, uh, yeah. what is that? Eggplant? Aubergine? Yes. Ah, very fresh. Very nice, huh? Nice meeting you, brother. Everybody's so curious, so, so friendly. Here we got another little shop. Oh, Madison. That's a pharmacy. I'm trying to keep an eye out on what's going on on the other side of the street, too, but... It honestly looks like a lot of furniture shops. Like, yeah, like a medallion furniture, medallion plus. We saw another furniture shop over there. Ooh, looks like there's some sort of, well, that's a bakery too. That one kind of looks like a chain. I'm kind of feeling like, I, I, I want maybe I want to go to something like little, hey, assalamu alaikum. This is the only guy in Bangladesh with a, with a light brighter and bigger than mine. Nice to meet you, bro. Man, how do you even begin sorting or looking through a, a pile like that if you want to, if you want to buy some clothes? That's, that, that's crazy, y'all. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. You know, a couple people always comment like, oh, why are you walking around these countries like an idiot saying assalamu alaikum to everybody? Listen, I'm here, I'm here considering myself an ambassador of an America and an ambassador of white people too. So uh, when, I, when, I, when I approach people with a big smile and I say assalamu alaikum, their faces light up. So I'm just here spreading that message of positivity. I'm gonna say hello, I'm gonna say peace be with you to everybody. And uh, I, don't, I don't really listen to, hey, assalamu alaikum. You know, we don't listen to the haters. We don't, we don't, we don't read the negative comments uh, here in Brent Tim's world. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, some fresh lychee. Looks super, super good. Man, boy, I, I'm really curious to, to play this video back and hear how it sounds. Just all the crazy background noise. I hope it's not too annoying for you. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, that person jumped up when they, when they saw the light like a deer in the head. Assalam. We got some late night banana sales going on. Assalamu alaikum. Assalam. How are you? Hello. We're good. I see a lot of locals walking around in the lungi, one of the traditional forms of clothing out here. I've got to get myself uh, one of those. I already got the cricket jersey, so I'm feeling pretty Bangladeshi. But we got we got to complete the process with the with the full lungi. Oh, assalamu, assalamu alaikum. Oh. Again, we got another little. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. All, all these little stalls selling the pan and ooh. Now, now, now this street. Wow. Hey, wow. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Now this street looks a little interesting to me. We got kind of, kind of like it's giving me like night market vibes. Well, let's see what we're working with here. Hey, assalamu alaikum. Hey, brother. <laughs> I tried to go in for the pound and and, and we 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 just missed each other out there. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, we got we got some guys just piling up here, sipping a little cha. Okay, I can't tell. Oh yeah, they're all cha stands. Everybody so assalamu alaikum. Everybody's got their own little little cha. Say, hey, assalamu alaikum, brother. Everyone's got their own little cha stand. And uh, maybe if you live here, you come here with your friends. Oh, now we're in like the, the live market area too. If you need those late night chickens. I'm definitely trying not to get run over while I'm looking at the chickens too. I, I should stick to the sidewalks uh, more and more, more safe. A lot, of, a lot of livestock. All right, well, I think we're gonna turn around here. I don't think, assalamu alaikum. Just, just more cha. Just, just a lot, a lot of dudes, cha, just chilling and, and cha and you dig? Okay. Oh, okay. There, that guy's got some food he's cooking up over there. Man. Oh, geez. This, this, uh, this doggy is very curious looking at me. I don't think it likes the light. Yeah, I don't really get scared of much, but man, the stray dogs. Nah. Nah. Not, not trying to deal with that. I see, I see you, brother. I promise. I see you. Okay. Let's turn it around and, and, and get back on, back on the street. Okay. Okay. I think we got another chopped chicken. Assalamu alaikum. Is, is that chopped chicken? Chicken chop. Chicken chop. Yeah. Are you sell inside? I, I can come eat? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can order, I can order? Yes, okay. yes, yes. It, it, it just looks too good. I Whatever, I, I gotta do it. The chicken chop, it just looks amazing. This look, that, that, that piece chicken, yeah, yeah? One piece? One piece and maybe some uh, naan, some roti. Yeah? Yeah? Thank you so much, don't know about it. One piece hot chicken. Where are we at? HFC? Hey, what, what does, does that stand? Eat up fried chicken. Uh, what? Eat up fried chicken. Eat up fried chicken. All right, yeah, thank yeah. you, brother. All right, we're we're up in here. This this is where we're making our making our move. They got all sorts of stuff here. We got the kebab. 
We got what looks to be some like gorgeously like that looks it looks sweet, it looks spicy, it looks sticky. We got some sandwiches, we got some other straight up fried chicken, some other types of, of bread in here. I got no idea what that is. And then we got some pizzas. Probably not. Probably gonna pass on the pizza <laughs> straight up. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. How's it going guys? Oh man. Real local joints. Although as far as Doc is concerned, I don't think there are many tourist joints, especially in the Don Mundi area. You dig? Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Man, I like uh, one one chicken chop. 120 dakas. So that's about one dollar and twenty cents. Uh, can can I get some? Um, is that is that dal? Dal, mock dal. Mock dal. Okay, we'll we'll get a little mock dal too. So, okay, we'll do the chicken chop. We'll do the mock dal, and then maybe you got some like naan or roti. Naan roti. Naan roti. Okay, All right, that should be enough food. Can I can I pay now? Oh, oh, pay pay later. Okay, okay. Uh, take a seat right here. Okay. All right. Real, real authentic Bangladeshi experience right here. Although I, I seem, I suspect it might be a chain because they, they're wearing the HFC thing, but it, it, it doesn't give me that that chain vibe. You dig? And what's what's more Bangladeshi than an authentic Bangladeshi chain, right? Oh, don't know about. Thank you, brother. Some nice guys cleaning off the table for me here. Appreciate that. All right, late night Dhaka spread has arrived. Check it out, yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make it, make it, make it, making some noise out here. First up, we got the naan. Love how it's kind of like cross cut like that. And then here we go, the chicken chop. Wow, this thing looks so so hot. Got like also got some tomatoes in there. Then we got some onions. And then the, the pieces of chicken. Uh, over here we've got the, the vegetable salad with some lines. And then we're gonna bring that doll over here, little front and center, and we're gonna we're gonna take the naan and we're gonna go ahead and dip that in uh, to, to the doll right away. Now, now just just a PSA if you're thinking of coming uh, to a country like Bangladesh, I can't eat the salad because generally in places uh, throughout the city, the vegetables have been washed with like the tap water here, and that would get me very very sick. So, gotta avoid that. Um, a lot of like the more upscale restaurants will go ahead and wash their vegetables in in like tap filtered water so you don't get sick. Um, but even though those veggies look good, just just can't can't do it, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and try some of this doll to start things off. Whoa! Wow, look at that. It looks so rich. I hope no one judges me. Uh, oh, I'm using I'm using my hands. What am I talking about? I thought I had a fork or something. All right, first taste of some daga naan uh, with some daga doll. Wow. Mm. That's what's up. Wow. A lot of flavor in that doll. I love lentils. Very rich. Very hearty. Good savory flavor to it. Nice, nice and salty. Yeah, we got um. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in for a little more of that. I'm just. I'm. A, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to doll. Ever. Ever since I visited Pakistan, I can't get enough doll. Mm. Mm. That's good. Just the tiniest, tiniest. Little itty itty bitty hint. A spice in there. Man, that was a good doll. He called it like Makta doll or something. I'd never heard of that. That was that was that was awesome. That was out of out of control good. Okay, we can't be a fraud. I can't I can't eat the chicken chop uh, with just with, with a fork. That, that would be an absolute sin. So we're gonna go straight in and just eat it right here off the bone. Oh, it's so so hot. What do we what do we think of that, y'all? This thing is oh. It's very nice, very good. The doll is amazing, man. The doll is amazing. We, we got we got a nice group of people here. Thank you so much for your help, HFC, the, the staff. Very, very attentive. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Good, good guys here. All right, my first taste of the chicken chop, and then they're, they're staring at me, so I better say it's good, right? Pow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh yeah, that's like fall off the bone. Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, is that good. Fall off the bone tender. It's so juicy. It's got a nice spicy element to it, but also very sweet. It's got this heavy sauce on it too that I really, really like. It's just a, a mixture of like all these flavors. Sweet, spicy, rich. That's really, really good, man. Really, really good. The chick chicken chop, an all-star all dish, brother. And of course, in every video, every food we eat, we gotta rate it from one to five rocket ships, one being the worst, five rocket ships being the absolute best. This, this doll was this doll was pretty good. This is a 3.9 rocket ship doll. I would definitely get that again. Uh, the chopped chicken though, man, flavor explosion. Really, really dug it. 
4.1 rocket ships uh, for, for, for the chicken chop. I got a feeling I'm gonna have chicken chop a few more times while I'm here in, in, in Bangladesh. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. I love Fizz. Man, good food, great staff. Bangladeshi hospitality, Bangladeshi flavors. Chicken chop, very good, man. Very, very good. Appreciate you guys. I gotta, I gotta learn how to say delicious in Bengali Wam here. It's the most important word to say, you dig? Okay, belly pretty stuffed. That was, that was, that was a lot of food. That was, that was filling. The naan always gets me, and lentils themselves, they're, they're just so, so filling. I would, I would go back to that spot again. I'm curious if we're gonna see any more HFCs uh, in any of the other neighborhoods or other areas around Dhaka uh, that we check out. Yeah, yeah. Shout out HFC. And now it's time for something sweet. Check this out. All that food back there, that was only 205 Bangladeshi taka. That's just about $2 and no, no, that's less than $2 uh, in, in, in USD and United States dollars. That's just a crazy, crazy value. We're going to go ahead and walk across to the other side of the street now because I do think I have my, oh my gosh, I do think I have my bakery pointed out that I want to go to, but we're going we're gonna to poke around to see what's on the other side. Let's see what it's like crossing the streets of Dhaka at night. Oh, my man is moving. Woo, woo, woo. Luckily, I'm still fast on my feet. Haven't lost a step since the days of high school football, right? Moving, moving, moving. Now we're up. Hey, we got the optics, the glasses store right there. What do we got here? A little uh, more textiles. Salam, salam alaikum, brother. Ooh, I need to get me one of these. A big old water chug to carry around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you gotta have your head on a swivel, especially if uh, you're an idiot like me and you're just staring at the camera. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. More guys just hanging out, getting on that chai time, chai o'clock. Oh, we got man, maybe some like puffed rice dish or something over there. That looked, that looked kind of interesting. What do you think? H and C Bakery? Should we try it out? I mean, it does kind of look like a chain, but I feel like. Maybe the Bangladeshi people would be interested to see what a, what a, what a, what a chain dessert tastes like. And, and you really never know. Oh, wow, they got a Facebook page. Well, I, I suppose everybody has a Facebook page. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalam. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, good, good. You got some uh, nice, nice desserts? Nice desserts? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu How are you? How are you? What do we got here? I'm we got. Oh, I'm doing very well, man. Very well. Thank you. What, what's the best? What's, what's very tasty? This one, calls it, it. That one, okay. Yes. Kachachana. Kachachana. Kachachana, what's that? Hapshishandesh. Hapshishandesh. Okay. That sounds really interesting. Let me get, let me get one of those. Let me get one of those. Yes, if you want, then you can take it on this. Oh, I can take it. Oh, I grab like, uh, I grab it. I may, maybe I grab take a box. Away? No, I'll eat it here. Got yeah, I'll eat it here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let me see it. Okay, thank you, brother. We got some other interesting things, some mawa ladu with like this, maybe that's edible, like tinfoil or something on it? Oh, and the gulab it's jam. So it's, so it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Okay, I'll do one of those too. So I'll do, I'll do one mawa ladu, one hapshi one sandesh, and one tachachana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys. It's show time. The desserts have arrived. Cannot wait to tear into something sweet here. My first taste of dessert. Uh, here in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, the price for all three of these was about 115 Bangladeshi Taka, or uh, just about $1.10 USD. So I consider that a good value. However, when you consider for all that chicken and the naan and uh, the dal and the 7-Up, we, we paid just about double this. Hmm, maybe sweets are kind of expensive here uh, in, in Dhaka, Bangladesh. We're gonna go ahead and, and, and take our first bite of this. And, Gosh, help me. I can't, I can't remember what the names of anything are, but it looks good. Pow! Mmm. Ooh. That's kind of like cheesecake. Mmm. Super moist. A very mild, neutral flavor. It's very creamy. And, um, gosh, what the heck does that remind me of? I guess it's like a very soft, moist brownie with a very mild, mild vanilla flavor to it yeah that's, that's not too bad I, I dig that i think it needs like it is just like a plain cheesecake almost somewhere like a cheesecake brownie almost but yeah super moist mm. but we just need it needs some like some like raspberry or something um some like jelly on top to give it give it give it someone else ah uh, you know no interest in eating this eating this edible um eating this edible 
uh, aluminum foil. We're just get, we're just gonna work our way around that, I think. Pow. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Smacking. Wow. Infinitely better than the first white thing. Mmm. That's so so good. A sweet, but not too sweet. It kind of reminds me of like a more dense uh, gulab jamun. Man, what the heck is it? That's good. Very, very mild flavor though all around. Like it's a mild sweetness. It's, it's not like a super rich, not like you're gonna get a cavity or, or trigger your sweet tooth kind of thing. But again, really dense, really moist. This one, this one right here, this is getting 1.8 rocket chips. Probably won't get that again. This one right here, this, this is solid. This is 3.2 rocket chips. I would, I would definitely have that one again. Last but not least, we're digging in to this one. This one looks moist too. You can just see like it glisten, glisten, glisten. <laughs> like coming off, uh, like it's shiny, literally shining, y'all. Pow. Oh, wait. I think I see little almond shards in there. I am allergic to almond. So uh, we got an, we got an audience, audience here in, in, in the window. And a very nice man just uh, putting on a show, I guess. Pow. Mmm. Mmm. Duh, that is almond. How did I not notice that at first? Mmm. 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 It's also good. It's like almost the same as this one. I can't put my finger on the taste or the flavor. Of what's going on here? It's just like a mild sweetness. This one is a banger. This one is the all-star of the, the show. They, they definitely steered me in the right direction. I, I think the best way to describe all the flavors here, because these certainly aren't like traditional sweets you would have in you know Europe or the United States. It's essentially, all this is just like, I would say some milk, some sugar, and some flour. I think very, very basic, very simple, but it gets the job done. Like these are really, really filling, dense desserts. All of them were moist. Yeah, the, the, these two I would, I would definitely get again. This one right here, this, this is a four, 4.3 rocket ship banger right here. As far as, far as Bangladeshi desserts go, very, very glad uh, that I came to the H and C Bakery. Very nice, my friend. This is what I'm talking about. You're walking, you're talking, you're looking at the camera, and then boom. You're about to fall down one of those like Super Mario Brothers sewers and then never, never come back again. Just gone. Where did Bren go? I don't know. Poof. Fell into, fell into level world six or something. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, we could have just gone next door to another bakery and then next door to another bakery. We, we are like in the in the bakery barrio here in, in, in Docker or something, I guess. Yeah. Ah, uh, Salaam Alaikum, brother. How are you? I, what's that? What? Oh, I think he's trying to sell me some like bread or bread or something. No, no, we've, we've already had enough naan, we've already had enough carbs. Very impressed with the DACA uh, nightlife options when it comes to food and, and desserts and just the all around like uh, energy of the people. And, and the, uh, another bakery. We literally could have gone to 16 bakeries, I guess. We, did, we decided to go to that one. We're done. Oh, Asalaamu Alaikum. Man, let's go talk to these guys. Let, let's see what they got in here. Asalaamu Alaikum. How are you guys? Yeah, fine. How are you? Abnar Oh, nice to meet you. Amar, Amar Nam Brent. Oh, country? America. America, wow. Oh, you got some Arabian sweets, some like baklava? Baklava. Oh, I love, love baklava. I'll tell you what, man, let me, how much, let me get one baklava, man. 60 money. 60? Money, one piece. One piece is 60? Taka. Taka, 60 taka. What's the name of this place? Junet City. Ah, oh, Al Kabaz. Al Kabaz, Al Kabaz, ah, okay. All right, and a little, little uh, Arabian sweet. I love some baklava. You know, I, I've, I'm so stuffed from everything else, but these guys were waving. They were super, super nice. We're gonna go ahead and ooh, look at that. I can already tell this has been just soaked in some really rich syrup. You got the pistachios on top. Always. You forward you. No, no, no plate. I'll just hold it like this, man. Thank you guys. Allah, Allah, fizz. Don't know about him. Pow. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Well, Killer. Me, mid review, they, they want me to write down my page. More than happy to. I hope you can read that. Brent Tim. Oh, right there. You type thank in Brent Tim on a new platform and, and I'll be there. Oh. Thank you guys. Nice this this was a really, really nice piece of baklava, guys. Like really flaky, really dense, and really crispy. The bottom was, like I said, soaked in that syrup. It tastes like Turkish baklava. It tastes yeah. like the real, real deal. Very impressive. I can't front. This was infinitely better. Uh, than, than, than what I had at the, at the last bakery. Not that that stuff wasn't bad. This is solid baklava. This is 4.4 4 
rocket ship baklava though. All right guys, thank you very much. And that's that. Ate a lot of sweets, ate a lot of food, met a lot of nice people. Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. Hopefully this video and all my videos here in Bangladesh inspired you to come to this country and uh, meet the wonderful people and, and try the beautiful food. We got so much more in store. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button so you can keep following all my adventures and support me. My name's Brent Tim from the Don Mundi neighborhood right here in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And I'm saying ciao for now.